serious. Does does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, now I do have a question. When you allow somebody to do a vent, does do you hire the price or do you hire the deposit? Absolutely. So so yeah. baked into our house rules are uh, are the rules around events, right? Okay. And that, that becomes key because obviously guests have to agree to your house rules to book, which, you know, in my eyes, that's, that's their legally binding contract. So if there's any, ever any doubt about anything, put it in your house rules, and then you can always come back during the booking message and make sure that they've so read. If it's not in your house rule, Airbnb won't help you with it, correct? Yes, yeah, so or it's going to be pretty hard to to get them to to agree with agree with the uh, the complaint or whatever it uh, whatever it is. And <clears throat> for events specifically, yes, security deposits are are mandated, and that becomes important uh, to to list in there. And then key to that is you want to collect your own security deposit. Don't put it into Airbnb, and I think That's it's under the real. accessibility page. Right, okay. right. It's not. It, it it's it's held uh, in theory, as I call it. Right. Okay. Uh, but what what happens is you give Airbnb a chance to litigate this process, and you don't want that, especially now with with their customer service. Right. Uh, so you don't do you want them do litigating. That? How do you anything. collect your own security deposit? Right, so so one of two ways. Uh, one, I, I never tell you to take it offline or give them, you know, a, a way to, uh, you know, take it offline because you don't want to put that directly into Airbnb. But uh, the the first uh, method is use the resolution center. So immediately after they book, you can then send them a request for those funds through the resolution center. And the reason you wanna do that is because you can then tie the note in Airbnb to the agreement in the house rules and then you've got full transparency, right? Just in case anything comes up. And then, you know, within that, you make sure you annotate, hey, this deposit, security deposit is refundable, uh, pending no issues with the, uh, the home, uh, and will be refunded 48 hours after uh, after a checkout. And if uh, it's not refunded, I'll annotate why. And uh, if, uh, if there's a dispute, then you can call Airbnb to to attempt to rectify it. But but everything's then on the table. Now, <clears throat> for for large events that we we host. Uh, whether it's a wedding, wedding reception, or some other uh, event that's that's taking place, and you're, you're bringing in upwards of 30, 40 people for these events, uh, it's better in most cases to take that offline because uh, in in cases like for weddings, there's usually other services that you should or could offer to uh, to tie into to those events. And, and the way we do that is we create a simple guest contact form and with Google, with Google Forms. Mm -hmm. And all you're doing is getting their basic information, but, <clears throat> but then you're also providing them a way to, to pay. And then that becomes key because you put the link to that Google Drive form, that Google form into your channel manager to, to shoot to them with their uh, their booking their initial booking or their booking message so you're not asking for anything directly on the platform but the google form will take them off platform where they'll then uh, be required to put in all their information and then they'll be able to extrapolate your payment information in terms and then you know potentially look at all the services that are available for uh for that specific event that they uh if they're booking for. So, so those are the two ways. Airbnb. Yes, but the, the event fee, the security deposit, and, and any other service charges, uh, you, you then, in my opinion, you want to take that offline. And, you know, in, in, in this case, you could, in theory, still take the security deposit through Airbnb, but 
for all the other associated fees, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you want to make sure that you have like some requisite form available where you can uh, you can take that uh, take that offline. So uh, 